Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How is everything in your life? How is everything, guys? Are you super mm -hmm. nice? And good. Are you ha are you hungry, Kevin? What do you say? Excellent teacher. Uh. Ahí está gente de aquí en nueva. Es lo mismo. Okay, everybody, let's start. Wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. This is not the correct. Okay, the, the date is, is today, right? But here it says June. Uh, okay, welcome to our first class. Okay, welcome to our first class. Uh, today we are going to continue with the simple present, but negative statements. Okay, uh, we studied on Monday simple present affirmative and questions. Now we are going to study negative statements. Okay, what is the objective of this class is? Make negative statements or sentences in present, in simple present, in present tense. Okay, that is the objective. Now, last class, we have studied the use of how much and how many. Okay, let us make a review. Okay, look at the pictures. We have here, okay. Do you know this in English, the picture number one? What is in English the picture number one? Okay, we are going to say the name. We are going to say the name and we are going to say if it is countable or uncountable. Okay. The name of the fruit is Pear. Pear. Uh -huh. Is countable oh. or uncountable? Countable. Exactly. And the name of the picture number two? Picture number two. What is it? Sugar. 
Uh -huh, it's sugar. It, it is countable or uncountable? No countable. Uh -huh, it's uncountable. In the picture number three? Okay, in, in the picture number three, we don't have... We don't have uh, the food specific. Okay, the focus here is the price. Okay, is the price. So let's continue with the next. What about the picture number four? Okay, what do you see? People. People, exactly. And what is people? Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Okay, now that's number five. What is it? It's love, right? The word is love. Is love in this case is countable or uncountable? Not countable. Yes, it's non-countable or uncountable because it's an abstract word. In the picture number six, what is it? Meat. It's meat. Okay, countable or uncountable? Meat is countable or uncountable? Countable. It's countable. Okay, now let us make sentences. Okay, Luis, make sentence using the purse. Using how much or how many? Well, no sentences are questions. They ask me a question using how much or how many? What do you say, okay? According to the pool, according to the noun, you decide if you use how much or how many. Okay, Karen, you, you say, tell me the question using sugar, Kevin, Tell me the, the the question using people. Mayra Veronica, tell me the question using love. Lilibet, tell me the question using the price. Because here is the price, right? $2.27. Carolina, okay, tell me the question using the word love. Lisbeth, tell me the question using meat. Pat, no, Fatima, no. Okay, Alex, Alexis, are you participating, Alexis? Marvin, are you participating? Yes. Okay, tell me the question using a complete question, right? Using the full, the purse. Diana, tell me the question using sugar. Edwin, you see, uh, tell me the question using the price. William, tell me the question using people. Carla, tell me the question using love. William, tell me the question using, no, William, no, right? Mayli, 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 tell me the question using meat. Eduardo, tell me the question using purse. Okay, let's begin. Begin number one. Me. How many pair are, are there? Okay, Luis, only one observation in your question. Remember that when you ask the question, how many, it's because you are using a countable noun, right? But the countable noun has to be in plural. Okay, make it again the question. Okay, how many pairs 
are there. Exactly. Okay, next. How much sugar do you need? Very good. Next. Creo que yo, ¿verdad? The one that I sell people, I guess. Ah, oh, no, no. Love. Hello. Al que le tocó people. Sería, how much people are, are they? Okay, Kevin. We said that people is a countable noun. Countable noun. Okay, and when you ask questions about the quantity of a noun, a countable noun, you use how many? Okay, ask again, please. Repeat the question. How many? Yeah, how many? How many people are they? Are there? Are okay. there? Eh, como es pregunta, ¿verdad? Usted usa there are, there are para decir hay, ¿verdad? Pero ahí como es pregunta, lo invierte. Dice are there, pero quiere decir hay, 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 ¿verdad? Are there? Next with uh, love. Next, please. How yes. How much, how much love me? <laughs> how much do you love me? Do you love me? Uh -huh. This is an indirect question. Well, say how much. You don't say love. You say how much do you love me? Okay, uh, next. How much does this meat cost? Very good, next. A quien dentro de los seis primero le les asigné el precio? Es que no lo hice en orden de lista. A veces me gusta hacerlo en orden de lista para no perder la secuencia. Pero ya, hoy sí ya la perdí. ¿A quién le asigné el precio? En la primera ronda creo que no asignó precio del azúcar. Se pasó a las personas. En Ajá. la segunda sí me puse atención. Pero en la primera sí no, no mencionó, no asignó esa. Ok, thank you, Lilibeth. Ok, now we begin the second round. The second round, okay, pairs. How many pairs did you buy? Uh -huh. Did you buy sugar? No sugar, no sugar. Okay, the price. No, okay, people. How many people are there at the party? Yeah, even though this is not a party, right? <laughs> but but <laughs> the sentence is correct. Okay, love. Meet. Hi, teacher. Ah, uh -huh. meat. How much does the meat cost? Ah, uh -huh. how much does the meat cost? Very good. And who else, guys? 
que por ahí había unos oyentes, me los salté. Eh, Le me sin... Claudia no le asigné, ¿verdad? Corina creo que tampoco. Lisbeth, le sí le asigné, pero no me dijo nada. Okay. Carla. Hello. Uh, which is your uh, question? No. Ahorita. How much love do we have? Okay, good. Carla, Eduardo. Edward. Okay. Now continue. As I told you, well, the topic for today is simple present, but uh, simple present negative, but we are going to finish some exercise that we have, that we didn't cover last class. Okay, here you have, look. Uh, there are different ways of asking about money. Expression to ask about money. You have Okay, expression to ask about money. Question number one. How much do they pay? When do you ask this question? How much do they pay? Okay, if you, uh, for example, you work in a Pizza Hut, example, right? You work at the Pizza Hut and I want to know your salary. How um, the amount of money they pay. Okay, pay is pagar, right? How much do they pay? If I, I don't say they, I can say how much does Pizza Hut pay? How much does Pollo Campero pay, for example? And my question is about the salary, the money you receive for salary. Okay, question number two. How much do they charge? When do they ask about this? Is when something it costs. For example, you are at the store and you buy a blouse. And the blouse costs $25. Okay, so the question is how much do they charge? ¿Cuánto te, te cobraron, right? Charges te cobraron. And they say, ah, oh, they charge me $25. Do you see? The number one is about the salary. And the number two is about the price, about the money they ask you for a product. Okay, number three, how much is it? It's about the price. You are asking about the price. How much is it? You ask for a blouse. How much is it? And then the blouse is $25. Okay, question number four. How much do, they, do you earn every month? Okay, this question is about your the money you receive in your company. Okay, the salary in your company. Earn is ganar, right? Ganar, pero ganar de dinero, no ganar una competencia. Okay, earn. How much money do you earn every month or monthly? Okay, clear the four questions, guys, or no clear? 
No clear, teacher. The number, todas o solo una? <laughs> okay, the number one is how much do they pay? ¿Cuánto ellos, ¿Cuánto ellos pagan? Ok, el number two is, how much do they charge? ¿Cuánto cobran ellos? Cobran, ¿verdad? Ya sea por un producto o por un servicio. La cosa es que cobran cierto dinero, right? <coughs> charge is cobrar. How much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much do you earn every month? ¿Cuánto ganas mensualmente? Okay. Now. You have... Una, yes. Una, yes, yes. Una, una parte de la última pregunta. Yes, yes. Month y monthly es lo mismo. Sí, es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Es como... Usted puede decir una time expression o un adverbio. Allí eh, puede usar uno o el otro. Cualquiera de los dos Sí. Allí en el ejercicio de la actividad 3 salía eso, ¿verdad? Eh, usted acuérdese que en la clase, uh, cuando vimos la acerca de Time Expression, yo les expliqué que de Time Expression va al final, siempre, ¿verdad? Time Expression va al final. Usted, por ejemplo, si usted dice una actividad, dice, I call clients every day o every month. Ok, y va al final. Y lo mismo el adverbio. I call clients monthly o weekly. Ok, en ese caso mm. hay dos posibilidades. Usar el adverbio o usar el time expression. De acuerdo, gracias. Ok, uh, here, look at the number four, exercise number four. Use one of the questions above. What the question above? This one, right? Estas. To complete the mini conversations. Ok, the mini conversations. Ok, A and B, A and B. Okay, what is the question in the number one? What is the question in the number two? What is the question in the number three? What is the question in the number four? Okay, do it. Uh, the page is the number, is the number 14, the page. Okay, I'm going to call the attendance. Say present, please. Carolina? Present. Claudia? Present. Corina? Present. Diana Stephanie? Present. Eduardo? Edward? Present. Edwin Marvin? Present. Fátima. Present. Irving Alexis. Present. Jacqueline Michelle. Jaime Alexander. Karen Diana. Ah, no, Karen Diana. Present. Carla Janet. Present. Kevin Josué. Present. Little bit, little bit. Present. Lisbeth. Present. Miss Angel. Present. Mayra Veronica. 
Marvin Alejandro. Present. No está Mayra Verónica, le dije sí. Present, present. Ah, ok. Okay. Marvin Alejandro. Present. Meili. Present. Nuria. William. Present teacher. Wilson. Present. Ready, everybody? Are you ready? Yes. yes. Yes, yes. Okay, tell me, tell me. What are the questions? In the number one? How much is it? Exactly. How much is it? How much is it? The number two? How much do you earn monthly? How much do you earn monthly? Exactly. Question number three. How much do they pay? Um, are you sure this is the one? Are no. you sure? How much do they charge? Aha, uh -huh. how much do they charge? How much do they charge? In the number four? How much do they pay? Exactly. Okay, in the question number one, how much is it? How much is it? Two, how much do you, do you earn monthly? Okay, look at the, listen to the intonation. How much is it? How much do you earn monthly? How much do they charge? How much do they pay? Okay, let me see. Edwin, read the four questions, please. And Eduardo, read the answers. How With, much? Yeah. Is it? Is it? How much is it? How much is it? Uh -huh, Eduardo, answer. Eduardo escribió en el es, chat. Es que puso que iba a estar de, de escuchante, porque está de oyente, perdón, porque iba a estar en, en el trabajo. Todavía está en el ah, trabajo. Okay. Ahí puso en el chat. Vaya, entonces me voy a tomar un, un momentito para escribir esto de los oyentes, permítanme. Ay, me ha puesto ahí que está oyente, porque si sí les pongo aquí. Eh, gracias, Alexia, hasta que llegue, va. Eh, no sé si, ya, no sé si ya llegó Alexis. Ya llegó Alexis. Lisbeth. Eduardo. Where are you, Eduardo? Okay. Now it's gonna answer Diana. Okay, Edwin asks the question and Diana the answers. 
Okay. Oh. How much is 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 it? Uh, it is ten dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, ten dollars fifty cents. You can say ten dollars fifty cents, or you can say ten dollars and fifty cents. Both are correct. Continue. Edwin? How much, how much do you earn monthly? And then you say, Diana? Okay, Edwin is going to ask for questions and Diana for answers. Yeah, Diana, answer the number two. How much do you earn monthly? No sé, pero creo que es en correo, Diana. Vamos a ver si está present. I don't see her. Yes, there, there it is, Diana. Do you listen to me? Okay, I'm gonna choose another student. Karen, okay. Begin again, Edwin, and Karen is going to answer. Okay, How much? Talk. Yeah, you are monthly. How much? Yeah, the, how much do you earn monthly? Your answer I is make, the answer is I make five hundred forty five monthly. Uh -huh, monthly, monthly, monthly. A number three. How much do they charge? The answer, they take 23 per item. Per item, item. Per item, item. Uh -huh. Por pieza, okay, item is pieza. Pay number four. How much do they pay? The answer, the company pays 690 with bonuses. Excellent, Karen. Very good. You are not so beginner. Usted no está tan precipiente, lleva algo avanzadita. Okay. Good. Now we are going to erase this. Erase, erase. No, do it. Wow. Okay, now before we begin the topic for today, let us do this. Okay, this is a reading. This is, okay, this is Dominic. Read the welcoming letter to Dominic's new job and answer the question below. Okay, she is Dominic. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que, se, qué es lo que ha puesto Dominic? Mentira. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, please. I'm, I'm going to detect whose microphone is on. Okay, identified. Okay, esta es una carta, right? Carta de Dominic. And you read, still there, right? Read the letter and this is about dominic's new job and answer the question below okay you read the, the letter read the letter and answer this okay say true or false page number 
Case number 15. Okay, read the letter and answer the question with true or false. Okay, do it.
Are you ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, en esa parte yo voy a, voy a querer que por favor eh, ustedes me digan eh, por qué es que dicen la respuesta que dan y me mencionen la información de dónde agarraron, ok, de dónde agarraron y me razonen por qué pusieron eso, ok. Vamos a ver. Eh, y este, me lo pueden decir en inglés, bueno, si no, en español también, ok. Solo esta parte, ok. Now, number one, Dominique speaks to clients in her new job. What do you say, is true or false? True. True. It's true. Okay, now tell me, ¿por qué dedujeron que era verdad? Porque dice que tiene que hablar con los clientes con para... Los clientes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Exactly. Call potential clients. Answer clients' questions about our products. Uh -huh. Eran unas eh, actividades que eran claves, ¿ok? Number two. Her salary is 10, eh, 100 per week. False. 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 Why is false? The statement about salary says she uh -huh. is obtained 440 per month. Exactly. Month. And, and yes. And that is per week. How much is per week? 120 per week. Exactly. No, 100, right. Number three, Dominic, yes, a yearly vacation? It's true. True. Yes. Why do you say it's true? Why is true? Uh-huh, per yes. year. Uh, if you say... Vacation per year is the same to say vacation, a yearly vacation, right? Because it is only once in a year. Okay, the number four is she has to work on holidays is false. 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 Why it is false? Porque dice que tiene una semana de vacaciones más el eh, día festivo. Exactly. The vacation includes holidays. So, she doesn't work on holidays. She doesn't work on holidays. Good job. <clears throat> Correct answers. Okay, now let's begin the topic for today that is negative. Oh, wow. Eh, Nuria, Nuria ya está presente, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, no sé si estará una niña que se llama Jacqueline Michelle porque veo Full House. Full House, Jacqueline Michelle, let me see. Jacqueline Michelle es... Uh, no, no, no. Mm, no. Let me see. Okay, when I say full house is full house quiere decir que está lleno. Todos están. <laughs> Pero no detecto con por qué, fíjense, porque o sea, son 22 y, y hay 22. Pero no detecto quién es el que está, porque déjeme ver. Um, Jacqueline Michelle. Es de este curso, pero no la veo. Alguien tendrá doble perfil. Um, wow. Wow. La parte de conectada. Es que a veces eh, hay dobles perfiles porque alguien está conectado en teléfono o en compu. Bueno, ya voy a descubrir por qué son 20. A lo mejor que no ver. Sí. Ok. Continue, guys. Continue. Uh, 
Hi, no, sí que está conectado, ¿no? Ah, hi, Miss. Sí. Ok, now negative sentence. Eh, we studied about affirmative sentence. For example, you say, I call clients. And the negative is, I don't call clients. In the negative, you say, I do not. Or you say, don't. To say the negative. Affirmative, I live in Germany. Negative, I do not live in Germany. Contraction, I don't live in Germany. Ok. Eh, si ustedes le buscan una explicación aquí, ¿qué significa esto? No la van a encontrar. Porque tú, el auxiliar, no significa nada. Solo es un comodín. Igual que la pregunta, la, también la oración negativa, el do, solo es un comodín. No significa nada. Ok. To say, I do not live in Germany. No vivo en, en Alemania, right? It's negative. I do not live in Germany. You don't, you do not live in Germany or you don't live in Germany. He does not live in Germany or he doesn't live in Germany. Uh, as in question, you use do for I, you, we, you, they. And for he, she, it, the third person singular form, you use does, the auxiliary, right? Does. The verb is the same. Why? Because does absorbs the change. Okay, so you say he does not live in Germany or he doesn't live in Germany. She does not live in Germany. She doesn't live in Germany. He does not live in Germany. He doesn't live in Germany. We do not live in Germany. We don't live in Germany. You don't. Well, you do not live in Germany, you don't live in Germany. They do not live in Germany, they don't live in Germany. Okay, you say do not, don't, don't, do not, don't. Okay, how you say in affirmative, I say, I visit clients. In negative, you say, I don't visit clients. Okay, very good. She speaks, she speaks to clients. In negative, you say? She doesn't speak to Does. clients. Uh-huh. I don't remember what I say, but with clients, okay, I'm going to... Complete. Eh, another. They pay. They pay your salary. They pay your salary. Negative. They don't pay the salary. Uh huh. They don't. They don't. Don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. It's better to use. En forma hablada, en forma coloquial, decimos en forma de hablada, es mejor usar la forma de contractada. Y en la forma de escribir, es mejor usar la forma completa. Porque para escritura es, el lenguaje tiene que ser más formal. Eh, usted, algunos te preguntan, ay, pero eso es demasiado formal, ¿verdad? Si 
allá en Estados Unidos, si usted va en las calles, peor hoy, ¿verdad? Que hay tanto latino allá, ¿verdad? Entonces cada quien aprende el inglés como puede. Entonces el inglés como que no es tan así, pero créanme que si ustedes hablan con alguien, como por ejemplo eh, un profesional, un político, ¿verdad? Alguien eh, que el inglés lo habla nativo, y, pero la persona es, eh, está en una empresa, por ejemplo, en un inglés de formal, ¿verdad? Eh, entiéndame por formal, sí se aplica esto de que ustedes siempre van a escribirlo así, formal, ¿verdad? Y pueden, en forma hablada, lo pueden decir contractado. Ok. Now, you say do not, don't. Does not, doesn't. Do not, don't. Now, continue. Okay, guys, we are going to do this together, together. Present simple, what is? Doesn't or don't? What do you say? Don't. Don't. Okay, do it, do it.
Meili, ya, ya puede ver. De micrófono. No, no, teacher, es que no, no sé qué le apreté a la, a la, a la laptop que se me hizo chiquitita la imagen y no la puedo volver a hacer grande. Ahorita la veo a usted en grande y la imagen chiquitita. Ah. Ah. Algo de la configuración, quizás. Yes. ¿Qué le habrá puesto? <coughs> o sea, todos sus compañeros no le aparecen, solo yo. Ajá. Ahora sí, ya estuvo. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ok, guys, the time is over. <laughs> the time is over. Let me see. According to the order of the list, according to the order of the list, Carolina, tell me the number one. Claudia, number two. Corina, number three. Diana, number four. Edwin, number five. Fatima, number six. Irwin, number seven. Karen, number eight. Carla, number nine. Kevin, number 10. And Lilibet, number 11. Okay, read the complete. Okay, number one. I do not like banana ice cream. Okay. I I want I I want right you say okay number two she does not she does not speak French will she doesn't no. speak French will yeah she doesn't she doesn't speak she doesn't speak she doesn't speak French will yeah number three. Mr. Sharon doesn't play the guitar. Number four. My father doesn't like classic music. All right. Number five. We don't, we don't want to buy a new car this year. Okay, we don't, 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 we don't. Okay, number six. They don't live in Madrid, they live in Cairo. Okay, the verb vivir is live, Fatima. Live, live. They live. Okay. <clears throat> si usted dice live, esa ya es otra. Es la palabra decir en vivo. Por ejemplo, we are in live. Quiere decir estamos en vivo. But the verb vivir is live. Live. Okay, number okay. six, uh, seven. Number seven, number seven. It's Irving. Okay, como Irving no me lo dice, me lo, okay, es, tell me, Luis. Number seven, Luis. Tomatoes doesn't grow on trees. Uh, are you sure this is doesn't, Luis? Yes. But it's tomatoes, plural. Oh, sorry. Done. Yeah, say it again. Tomatoes don't grow on trees. Exactly. Number eight. Number eight. He likes swimming. He doesn't like 
wind surfing. Uh huh. He doesn't like wind surfing. Wind, wind uh -huh. surfing. Wind surfing. Thank you. Number nine. Dana is my new, my new friend. His mother doesn't like me. Okay, number ten. Um, is I and Tom don't keep it at home. Uh -huh, don't keep pets. Pets. Pets is mascotas, right? Pets. Okay. Thank you. Number eleven. The snakes don't have legs. Uh -huh. The snakes don't have legs. Ok, vaya, vamos a hacer un, porque fíjense de que yo lo he escrito hasta, fe, hasta la fecha, yo he escrito siempre todo cuando lo estamos presentando, pero hoy me lo van a escribir ustedes. Vaya, los que tienen la, no sé si ustedes lo hicieron en el módulo anterior, pero por si acaso lo voy a explicar. Los que tienen laptop pueden escribirlo con texto, les va a agarrar el texto, pero los que tienen celular solamente pueden con lapicito. En la parte inferior de su pantalla, su parte inferior izquierda tiene un lapicito. Con eso pueden escribir. Traten de poner la, una respuesta, eh, seleccionen una y traten de poner una, la respuesta. Los que tienen en la compu, los que tienen tablet también pueden hacerlo por texto. Traten ahorita. Eh, con el lapicito así en el celular tienen que tener bastante tacto. Yo ya lo he intentado y sí me sale, pero... Vamos a ver. Lisbeth fue verdad la que hizo la número 11 le puso aquí don't no se entiende ¿verdad? como que estaba en el tiempo que <risa> doesn't y puso aquí la número 9 doesn't y creo que se me puso a invertida la S y la E Ah. <risa> okay. Vaya, entonces sí ya vieron que sí pueden, ¿verdad? Hay algunos ejercicios que voy a poner que ustedes me lo escriban solo para variar. Okay. Teacher, mis dedos yes. son demasiados gordos. <risa> Y con el lapicito no me funcionó porque son demasiado gordos, casi que abarca cuatro cuadritos. Sí, pero le digo, cuando es con lapicito hay que tener bastante tacto. Sí. Pero al menos los que tienen compu y tienen laptop, al menos ellos pueden ayudarnos para variar. Para variar, para que no solo escriba yo. 
Okay, guys, thank you very much. Unfortunately, I have to erase it. Tengo que borrarlo. <laughs> Okay. Now let's go to this. Okay, we have some activities. Here we have a summary. Okay, we have these activities. Activities at work. Type letters, read a weekly report, check emails, attend a meeting, organize meetings, visit clients, keep track of the financial accounts, create and advertise the company, design and develop different softwares, carry boxes into the track clean, clean okay, into the track, sorry, here we have two, wait a minute. I'm going to erase it. Oh, I'm going to. Better to this. Okay, here we have here. Clean. Clean, 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 clean. Yes. Okay, I was here. Carry boxes into the truck, clean the desk in the morning, order everything in the office, create software, repair computers, receive money from sales. Okay, aquí tenemos una listita de actividades. No sé yo si estas actividades pegan con el trabajo que ustedes hacen. Si pegan, úsenlas. Si no pegan, entonces pongan las propias de ustedes. Identifiquen cuáles pueden pegar con el trabajo que ustedes hacen. Ok. Now, everybody, repeat, please. Type letters. Type letters. Repeat. Type letters. Time time letters. Letters. Read a weekly report. Read, Read a, weekly a weekly report. report. Check emails. Check, Check emails. emails. Attend a meeting. Attend, Attend a, meeting. a meeting. Organize meetings. Organize, Organize meetings. Meeting. Visit clients. Visit clients. Keep track of the financial accounts. Keep track of the financial accounts. Financial, financial, financial accounts. Financial accounts. Create and advertise the company. Create and advertise the company. Okay. Cuando ustedes dicen keep track of the financial accounts, esta es la copia del módulo 1. ¿Se acuerdan qué quería decir? Creo como el contacto, creo. Ajá, que okay. keep track quiere decir llevar, ¿verdad? Llevar. Llevar un récord. O the financial accounts. Que acá las cuentas financieras. Okay, create and advertise the company. Do you remember what is advertise? What is advertise? Uh -huh. Okay, promover, anunciar, publicitar. Okay, design and the repeat. Design and develop different softwares. Design and develop. And develop, 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 develop different softwares. Different, different softwares. Carry boxes into the truck. Carry, Carry boxes, boxes into the truck. Into the truck. 
boxes, boxes. Box, six. Clean the desk in the morning. Clean, Clean the desk in the morning. The morning. In the morning. Order everything in the office. Order, Order everything, everything in the office. the office. Create software. Create, Create software. software. Repair computers. Repair computers. Repair. Repair. Repair computers. Repair. 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 Receive, receive money from sales. Receive money from money. sales. Money. Money. Okay, money, money. Receive money. money from sales. Okay, listen again. I want to read again. Listen. Type letters. Read a weekly report. Check emails. Attend a meeting. Organize meetings. Visit clients. Keep track of the financial accounts. Create and advertise the company. Design and develop different softwares. Carry boxes into the truck. Clean the desk in the morning. Order everything in the office. Create software. Repair computers. Receive money from sales. Okay, tell me, read this, William. Read the activities. Okay. Type letters, read a weekly report, check emails, attend a meeting, organize meetings, visit clients, keep track of the financial accounts, create and advertise the company, design and develop different software, carry boxes into the truck, clean the desk in the morning, Ordered everything in the office. Create create software. Repair computers. Receive money from sales. Okay, receive receive money. Receive receive, receive money from sales. Okay. Now look at this exercise. In this exercise, you write. Write a five activities about you do in your workplace and five activities you don't do in your workplace. Tell the activity to your classmates. Write down our classmate activity in the third person. Report to your class to your... <laughs> okay. Uh, va, le voy a explicar. Son cuatro actividades en una. Primero, van a escribir ustedes cinco actividades que usted hace en su trabajo y cinco actividades que no hace. ¿Ok? Vamos a ir al breakout rooms. ¿Ok? Pongan atención. Vamos a ir al breakout rooms y usted le va a decir esas actividades a su compañero. Vaya, ¿cuál es la finalidad de esta? Actividad es algo larga, le puede decir es algo larga, pero eh, la van a hacer así como se les explico porque ese es el objetivo. Primero, cuando usted le dice las actividades a su compañero, él tiene que desarrollar el listening. Tiene que captarle qué es lo que le dijo. Y si no, pues le ayuda. Y usted como compañero va a escribir las oraciones que le diga el compañero. ¿Ok? Le va a decir las oraciones a su compañero y él, su compañero, se las va a escribir y viceversa. ¿Ok? Luego terminamos la actividad y aquí en la clase usted me las va a leer las, las oraciones de su compañero, no las suyas. ¿Verdad? Nos van a, vamos a ver si... ¿Qué tal? No pasa, ¿verdad? Porque aquí dependemos mucho del tiempo. Pero sí... Eh, cuando usted eh, esté tomando las actividades, las puede escribir exactamente como la, su compañero la diga, pero cuando ya las diga en la clase, va a reportarlos como tercera persona. Por ejemplo, su compañero le va a decir, I visit clients every day. Y usted en la clase va a decir, por ejemplo, si le dijo eso Carla, Carla visits clients every day. Another activity, I call clients 
monthly. Y usted va a decir, Carla calls clients monthly. Ok, ¿es clear, guys? ¿Clear o no clear? Una pregunta, Tito. Yes. ¿Y las actividades son del estado que usted puso o, o no? Pueden ser oh. otras. Eh, usted puede usar las que usted quiera. Las que están ahí oh. o propias de su trabajo. Ok. Yo le puse una listita algo larga para que usted pudiera seleccionar de ahí las que se aplican. Pero si no, use las de usted. Ok. ¿Es clear the activity? Yes or no. Ok. Le voy a dar 10 minutos para que hagan las de ustedes solitos y luego entramos al breakout room. Así, 10 minutitos nada más. Ok. Do it.
Okay, guys, the time is over. The time is over. Did you finish? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay. Alexis. Eduardo.
Prayer soft word. Yes. Number four. I don't write report. Hello. Hi. Everything okay? is okay? Hi, teacher. Todo está bien? Is Questions? Is correct. Is correct. Yeah. Sí, tenemos una duda. Uh, mm, is yes. correct if I say I check my email 10 times a day? Yeah. Is correct. Que es como decir que lo reviso mi correo 10 veces al día. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank yes. You. ¿Todo está bien? Me tocó con un oyente, así que estoy sola. Ah, pero ella no estaba, no estaba oyente, fíjese. Es como cuando yo estuve preguntando, no me salía. Bueno, entonces la voy a poner. Eh, la voy a pasar a otra entonces. One question. Okay. One question. Cuando este, yo una de las cosas que hago es este entregar reportes. Ajá. Entonces la palabra correcta es give. Give o deliver. Porque uno es give service information. Uh -huh. Sí, puede ser eh, como es entregar, ¿verdad? Entregar, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, uh -huh. give. Give. Ok. Pensado. Es que ajá, tengo, tengo, eh, eh teacher, yes, Dayana, disculpe, una pregunta, eh, cómo podríamos, eh, vaya, ella, eh, Claudia es profesora, entonces uh -huh. una de sus actividades es controlar la disciplina. Entonces Ajá. se podría poner como Claudia Control eh, Discipline, algo así. Ajá, Controls Discipline. Claudia Controls. Control Discipline. Ajá, parece que tiene Controls. que ponerle la S, va. Controls. Controls. Sí. Control. Control. Discipline. Controls Discipline. Ajá, es ok. Oh, ok, ok. Gracias. ¿Qué inventario, o sea, si yo quisiera decir... Eh, Reviso, reviso inventario. Check inventory. Ajá, check inventory. Ok, ok. Muchas gracias. Esa es una que yo hago. Okay. 
¿Usted le escucha bien a Will? Eh, no, William, ¿usted le escucha bien a Carla? Sí, teacher. Uh, okay. Es que tenía los audífonos, teacher, y no los puedo conectar. Se me han desconectado, quizás por eso. Uh, no, es que es, es, se le oyó cortado, cortado, le escuché. Pero ah, ya. Que, que le preguntaba a William porque a veces cuando uno escucha cortado, a veces es el internet de uno, no es el... Ay, es cierto. Okay. Si no se la repito, oh. creo que la de attends a meeting twice a month. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. Lisbeth. You listen to me, Elizabeth? Eduardo, oye. Ya llegó Eduardo. Ok. Did you finish? Uno me falta. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Cuando eh, lo digan en la clase, traten de decirlo lo más rápido que puedan, ¿ok? O sea, ahorita, mientras termino de, de verificar los demás, repasen. Ok, thank you. Are you ready? Uh, yes, teacher. Solo estábamos okay. repasando para ver lo que voy a decir de mail y, y lo que no, lo que hace y lo que no hace. Okay.
Ah, a Karen ya no la volví a ver, ¿verdad? <risa> ok. Eh... Ready, guys? Okay. The pair number one is Kevin and Marvin. Okay, Kevin and Marvin, you are number one. Number two, Lilibet and Maylie. Three, Karen, Mayra, and Nuria. Four, well, yeah. Three, Karen, Mayra, and Nuria. Four, Claudia and Diana. Pai, Carla, and William. Six, Carolina, Corina, and Luis. Seven, Edwin, and Wilson. Okay. Begin number one. Okay. Nada más. Grande. Okay, sí. Uy, uy. Okay. Kevin and Marvin? Yes. Okay. I start. I. Uh, Marvin. Marvin. Uh, checks emails. He keeps track of financial accounts. He makes payment. He carries out merchandise inventory. And he attends meetings. He doesn't visit clients. He doesn't repair computers. He doesn't do say. He doesn't medical consultory. And he doesn't create software. Okay. Um, Kevin organizes tools. He clean the garage. He repairs the trucks. Kevin takes the trucks. He Kevin wash the trucks. Okay. Uh, Kevin. Marvin, only one observation. Remember that you have to use the verb with the third person, singular form. For example, if you say, repeat one activity, please. Uh, Kevin organizes tools. Uh -huh. Organizes. No. Organizes tools. Okay, uh -huh. Marvin. Kevin. Tell me another. Kevin cleans the garage. Uh -huh. Kevin cleans. Cleans. Clean. Cleans. Kevin Kevin repairs the trucks. Uh, repairs. 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 Only that observation, Marvin. Okay. okay. Correct that. Continue with the negative. 
Okay. Kevin doesn't attend a meeting. He doesn't visit clients. He doesn't clear a software. He doesn't write a report. He doesn't call clients. Okay, he doesn't call clients. Clients. Thank you, Marvin and Kevin. Now continue that number two. Maybe checks her email many times a day. She attends meetings sometimes. She keeps track of the finance, financial account every day. Mainly receives money from sale every day. And she prepares documents once a week. Uh, mainly doesn't type letters and she doesn't organize meetings. She doesn't visit clients and she doesn't create and advertise the company. And mainly doesn't repair computers. Leave it. Leave it. Check emails 10 times a day. She Keep track of the financial account every morning. She calls clients twice a week. And she orders everything in the office. And, clean, and she cleans the desk, desk every morning. <clears throat> uh, Lilibet doesn't visit clients. She doesn't design and de develop different software. She doesn't repair computers. Computers. She doesn't attend a meeting, and she doesn't mop the floor in the office. She doesn't mop the floor. Mop the floor. Yes. Because somebody else that does it, right? Okay, thank you, Lilibet and Maylee. Good participation. Uh, number three, Karen, Mayra, and Nuria. Good night. The Nuria's activity. The first one. She attends a meeting every month. The second, she visits clients every Wednesday. Third, she cleans her office every day. Fourth, she receives money from sales every day. Number five, she reviews financial accounts every day. Mayra's activities. Number one, she attends customers every day. She gives service information every day. Number three, she answers calls every day. Number four, she sends invoices by emails every day. Number five, she gives reports at the end of the day, every week, every day. Number one, she takes letters for time a month. She checks in May every day. She calls client twins a month. She orders documents in my computer twins a week. She writes reports every day. Nuria. She attend meeting every month. She visit client every Wednesday. She clean the office every day. She receive receive money from sell every day. She she write mm, the finalist account every day. Very sad. She review review. Or checks is better there. 
checks. Checks. Uh, yes. Okay. Comienzo con Karen. She pay letter for time amounts. Two. She shakes and makes everything. Three. She calls clients twice a month. Four. She orders document uh, image computer a week it five she grades report everything Veronica a custom custom service every day She, I build service information of every day. Um, she also call every day. I, no. Teams and boxes in May every day. I'm fine. She delivers report at the end of the day. Finish. Finish. Okay, well, now the next is um, Claudia and Ayana. Okay. Diana checks email. Uh, Diana attempts a meeting. Diana checks inventory. Inventory. Diana checks fabrics. Diana design clothes. Claudia teacher classes. She control controls discipline. She plays class. She grinds assignments. She prepares exams. Uh, no negative sentences, guys. <laughs> no. No. Ah, okay. Now continue. Number, I don't remember the number, but it's Carolina, Corina, and no, well, after it's Carla and William. Carla and William. Hello. Bye. Uh, William check email every day. Ty prepare payroll twice a month. Attend a meeting once a month. And answer questions from your partner. And work calls twice a week. William doesn't treat a monthly report. William doesn't write email. William doesn't visit clients. E. William doesn't repair, reply computers. William? 
Okay. William, William. Okay. Now, uh, Carla checks emails every day. Carla attends a meeting twice a month. Carla visits clients twice a week. Carla sends emails every day. Carla serves clients every day. Carla doesn't type letter. Carla doesn't organize meetings. Carla doesn't create software. Carla doesn't repair computers. Carla doesn't receive money for sales. Okay, next, Wilson and Edwin, very fast, please. <laughs> Wilson visit clients once a week. Wilson send calls every day. Wilson sells computers every day. Wilson repair computers every day. Wilson send emails once a week. Wilson doesn't organize meeting. Wilson doesn't call clients. Wilson doesn't read a weekly report. Wilson doesn't receive money from sales. Wilson doesn't create, create software. Edwin on I call pardon Edwin calls clients every Monday. Edwin check your email every day in the morning. Edwin organizes meetings once a week. Edwin sends emails every day. Edwin read a weekly report. Edwin doesn't visit clients. Edwin doesn't organize meetings every day. Edwin doesn't create software. Edwin doesn't repair computers. Edwin receive money money from sales. Okay, thank you. Um guys it's solamente, <laughs> sorry, sorry, pero de modo, solamente Carolina, Corina y Luis no se pueden salir, los demás y ya, ok. See you Monday, have a nice night, have a nice weekend, ok. Have Good night, night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Teacher. Good night. Uh, Hey, begin, <laughs> begin. Hola. Ajá, Carolina, Be begin. Empiezo con Corina. Yeah. Una pregunta, teacher. Y yes. en estas eh, oraciones, por así decirlo, aquí no se usa el das. Por ejemplo, Corina das visit a client. Oh, no, porque son oraciones no. afirmativas. En esas Afirmativa. no, no, no usa, o sea, auxiliar. Acuérdese, el auxiliar solo son oraciones negativas y las preguntas. Ah, ok. Auxiliar solo en oraciones negativas, negativas y, preguntas. y en preguntas. Ah, ok. Gracias. Bueno, Corina visits a client. Corina reacts. A weekly report. Corina checks eh, 
her email, se puede usar her ahí. O solo emails. And her emails, you can say her emails. Her emails. Uh, Corina organizer meeting once a month. Corina order everything your office every day. Uh, is, a, sorry, Carolina, y si no puede decir your office, porque no es la mía, sino que es la de ella, siempre tiene que decir her, her, porque de Perdón. ella va. Uh -huh. Her. Uh -huh. okay. Her office. Yes, yes. Uh, y negativas, no, 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 no nos alcanzó el tiempo. Okay, don't worry. Continue, Orina, always. Okay. Carolina checks her emails. Carolina cleans her office. Carolina attends meeting every Friday. Carolina writes report every Friday. Carolina manage donation monthly. Carolina doesn't visit clients. Carolina doesn't call clients. Carolina doesn't keep track the financial account. Carolina doesn't receive money. Carolina doesn't carry boxes. Corina visits clients. Corina reads a weekly report. Corina checks her email every day. Corina organizes meetings once a month. Corina orders everything her office every day. Only one observation, Luis, only in manage. Uh, uh, remember that when it finish with GE is manages. Okay, oh. Only that, only that. Uh, uh, but everything was perfect. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, continue, Corina. Solo que yo teach, solo alcancé a copiar de Carolina porque como ya entré tarde al, al break room con ellos. Ah, ok. Eh, so, no problem. Vaya, entonces este, me voy a quedar unos minutitos con usted, Corina, que la, a usted le toca. Ok, Bye. so, see you, to, see you Monday, Luis en Carolina. En Eduardo en Jaime, they are there. Ok, gracias. Have a sí. nice night. Sí. See you Monday. See you Monday. Ok, Corina, le tocó a usted el turno, así que dígame. Eh, eh, ¿Alguna pregunta? Que, ¿Algo que no le haya quedado claro? Pues por el momento voy bien, teacher, porque hay veces en la clase me enredo, pero como trato de repasarlo después, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ya como que me pongo al día, pero sí voy, ahí voy más o menos. Ahorita sí es como que hace algo muy puntual que yo tenga, que no le comprenda, no. No, ajá, no, no ajá. tengo algo así. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces este... No le cuestan los auxiliares, el, el uso del verbo en la tercera persona. Que eso no. es lo que vimos esta semana, más que todo, Ajá. lo fuerte. Sí, sí. No, ese es como, como lo he estado repasando. Sí, sí. ya sé cuándo uh, ocupar con cada uno de la tercera persona, del A, el U. Uh -huh. Es que como eso del inglés es así, ¿verdad? Se tiene un estudio personal, un repaso general. Es lo ideal para que usted despeje dudas. Sí, ahí ahorita, por ejemplo, uh -huh. hay veces copio las la reglas la la de que puso la línea la vez pasada y con esa me voy guiando hasta para ordenar mis oraciones. La que puso del subject, el activity, el activity, uh -huh, sí. el time expression. Entonces esa también voy ocupando para ubicarme. Sí, eso es lo ideal. Fíjese de que... Para aprender inglés, eso es lo ideal al principio, ¿verdad? La estructura, la estructura es básica. Uh -huh. Por eso es que siempre se les pone ahí la estructura, ¿va? cómo se compone, sujeto, uh -huh. verbo y así, ¿verdad? Usted, usted pone atención al uso de eso y ahí usted se va guiando como va a ser la oración o, o va a ser la pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, si va así, usted vaya los verbos, 
que lo vaya aprendiendo, que lo vaya pronunciando, que lo vaya ocupando según el tiempo que se le enseña. En este caso se le ha enseñado el presente simple, entonces usted tiene que usarlos en el presente simple con cualquier sujeto, como se usa con cualquier sujeto. De ahí la estructura. Claro. Y ahí ya va a ver que así va en buen camino usted, porque eso es lo básico. Usted entiende estructura, usted entiende verbo, usted ya arrancó en esto del inglés. Ah, porque okay. hay gente que no arranca por eso, porque uh -huh. no se puede los verbos, porque la estructura no se aprende, la estructura. Y eso es básico. Ah, así entonces... que... Bye, bye, así... teacher. Ah, pues así la felicito, siga así, ya va a ver de que ahí va a ir encaminada. Y ahí el vocabulario, pues hay que irlo repasando también un poquito, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Eso sería Vaya, pues. todo, Corina. Bueno, thank eh, you. See you Monday. See you Monday.